Hello, my name is Dr. Adams. I'm a resident physician here in Denver, Colorado, and I'm going to be talking today about cancer, especially in the light of yerba mate. I've heard a couple people mention uh, about some studies that have been done about yerba mate causing esophageal and oral cancer, and I did a little bit of research uh, on the different articles uh, that claim that yerba mate causes cancer, and then I kind of wanted to break that down. This is not going to be a medical conversation. I'm not going to get deep in the genetics. This is more of a conversation that I'm going to have on a very superficial level for someone who enjoys drinking yerba mate and someone who maybe doesn't have a profound medical knowledge. And so we're just going to talk a little bit about the basics of what causes cancer, uh, the basics of uh, what things would cause these studies to show high risk of cancer in, in some individuals drinking yerba mate, and then uh, kind of go from there. So first off, what is cancer? So cancer is when some of the cells in your body go rogue and they start creating a tumor somewhere and they start dividing uncontrollably. What would cause these cancer cells to go rogue? Long-term inflammation or long-term irritation to that tissue. So for instance, smoking is a very large risk factor for getting lung cancer. And the reason why is you have chemical inflammation. So the chemicals in the cigarette smoke, you have heat, and then you just have the smoke that goes down and causes inflammation, irritation to those lungs. And over a long period of time, all that irritation starts to build up in those cells and they get different genetic modifications and one of them starts to go rogue and when that cell goes rogue it starts dividing and that's what starts cancer. Another one which is big in the US, colon cancer, one of the big predispositions to getting colon cancer is eating a diet high in cured and processed meats and the reason why is all those cured and processed meats and those chemicals that are in there when you eat them they go down they get in your colon your colon starts taking the fluid out and they get concentrated there and so that causes long-term irritation to the colon and then one of the cells goes rogue and then all of a sudden you start to have a tumor and cancer in those cells. So esophageal and oral cancer can also be predisposed by smoking because smoking goes into your mouth, also down your throat. So you have those same chemical and heat uh, problems that'll cause cancer there. The countries, esophageal cancer isn't as common in the United States as it is in other countries like in Asia, Middle East, and parts of Africa, and especially in, in countries where they have a lot of hot drinks that they drink and where they smoke a lot. So for instance, China, they drink really, really hot tea and they also smoke a lot of cigarettes and they have a much higher rate of esophageal cancer than we do here in the United States. Uh, in the Middle East, they also drink very hot tea as well. And so they've noticed that places where they drink really hot drinks, they're gonna have a higher rate of esophageal cancer because that thermal injury to the mouth and the esophagus is gonna cause higher rates of cancer. So the question is, yerba mate is the chemical in your mate when they process it or is some way that when they prepare it for you to drink is something that they do causing an increased risk for cancer because of that or is it if you drink it too hot? Um, one thing to note is you shouldn't be drinking your yerba mate that hot. To be honest, coffee and tea to prepare them, you need to get the water a whole lot hotter than you should be boiling your water. Well, you shouldn't even be boiling it. It should be before it boils to prepare your yerba mate. But that's just a side note. So yerba mate, what they found is people who drink it hot out of a bombilla are at higher risk, but people who drink cold yerba mate regularly actually have no increased risk of cancer than people who don't drink it. So what does that tell us? That tells us that it is most likely the thermal injury of people who are drinking their yerba mate way too hot is gonna give them an increased risk for esophageal and oral cancer. So if you prepare your yerba mate correctly and you don't drink it very, very hot, like some people do, you shouldn't be at increased risk for esophageal and oral cancer. Now, having said that, there's been very limited research on this subject, and a whole lot more research needs to come out before someone can make a final statement on yerba mate when drinking in moderation at moderate temperatures has no cancer-causing risk. But as for right now, from what we've seen from the research that's out there, that's the case. Now, if you're drinking really hot tea, you're gonna be at the same risk as if you're drinking really hot water every day, or really hot any drink, for that matter, because that thermal energy in your mouth and your esophagus is what irritates those cells and after a while, all that irritation and inflammation is going to cause one of those cells to go rogue and create that tumor, kind of like what we talked about before. So that's kind of a superficial look at why people would say yerba mate could cause cancer and something that you can do about it so you can enjoy this delicious and energizing beverage without having the fear of it having any negative effects on your health. Because there is a ton of positive effects on your health, vitamins and minerals. They've done a lot of studies with mice showing that mice that drink yerba mate have decreased insulin, which means that they're going to have decreased fat stores and they're gonna have a much healthier body com compared to those who are obese. So yerba mate has a lot of benefits health-wise that I've talked about in other videos that I have. Um, and if drinking not too hot, it doesn't have very many side effects 
besides any side effects that you may personally experience from drinking caffeine. So that's just a little bit about your Mate, and uh, hopefully this was helpful.